Welcome back to the channel, everyone. How you doing? How you doing? I just want to say I appreciate you guys being here for just a couple months here today. I appreciate you guys. Today, we are going to talk about When Darkness Loves Us by Elizabeth Eggstorm. Let's talk about the synopsis first before we actually talk about this book. Sally Ann and Martha, two women searching for love, finding terror. During a terrifying storm, a gentle childhood is destroyed by a twisted man who promises love but delivers nightmare. In the lightness depths of an underground labyrinth, unseen creatures lie in wait for an innocent traveler. Cold skeleton hands stretched out in welcome. There is horror in darkness, horror made greater. So that's the synopsis of this book. Now, I only, I literally bought this book because of the cover. The cover looked dope. It's one of those old 80s kind of books that used to be those old mass paperbacks. And now paperbacks from hell i think it is is like bringing them back or that's like a grady hendrix thing so i don't know too much about it. but with this book i was actually really excited this month of october just for my reading spooky books have not been very good and this one also is kind of on that level of just not doing the greatest maybe i'm just dumb and just didn't understand this book that well but i just didn't feel that pop in this book so the first like 80 pages is written for this character named sally ann and sally ann gets lost in this labyrinth she goes to this like tunnel where she used to play as a kid and her husband current husband michael closes this and latches her in this dark tunnel and she's pregnant with their child and when she gives birth it's a boy named clint and they are there for years and she finally escapes because she wants she's always like michael's gonna save me and she finally escapes and she leaves clint behind and she escapes the darkness and she realizes it's been like 20 years so when she's like out and about she's skin and bones not very well and she starts missing this darkness because she realizes wow my life is just nothing anymore and she brings she steals michael's child that <laughs> he had her name was mag steals her brings her into this dark the darkness and clint and her eventually will have children of their own which is kind of gross maggie grows up and then clint goes they start having babies and sally takes michael in there and michael freaks out and he ends up eventually getting killed by this creature in this like lake and sally was like messing with him throughout the whole tunnel and i was like where is this heading because this feels like a very short novella was there creepy aspects in this first part yeah it was kind of creepy and i actually really liked it and it ended it was done because clint's like i'm gonna raise like my own army essentially he's gonna raise like his own human race <laughs> in these dark tunnels and he wanted like a couple more girls to like breed with essentially that's kind of how he thinks and he was gonna raise his like own army and i was like oh that's kind of weird which i like i said i was really thrown off i was like oh sweet so this is gonna keep going into like some real horror and then we got into part two which called beauty and we get to follow the character named martha now i thought martha was gonna interject with the first part but it doesn't this book feels like it's like two separate books because the rest of it is about martha martha is very is on the spectrum she's very slow-minded the author does a great job with martha and through this whole thing it's just like a coming of age thing martha's parents die and then there is like chapters of a flashback of this guy named harry and fern and how they end up being together and they end up having a child named martha and fern has like powers of healing and harry's like oh because you are doing god's work we are going to be cursed we're going to be punished and harry always believed martha was the curse because martha was born with no nose like at all like it was just a hole and she was born with well being on the spectrum and so harry always said that they were cursed that's why and he never had another child after that that's kind of how the story was going and then you would go back to martha and martha slowly learning a lot of these things by herself and she meets this guy named leon and leon and her start building a relationship and she actually starts becoming more intelligent there was like a block in her head of why she can't why she stumbled back to being adolescence essentially and because of leon she is slowly growing to become i guess just normal minded i guess i should say and it does a really good job i actually felt very connected with this book with this and i was like wow this is not like a scary book this is a good book but it's not a good scary book and you learn about everything in the end of why martha was the way that she was because her mom could like was touching like the spot and it was cold and she was trying to break that barrier before she died and she found out it was actually this beast in her head that was keeping martha at how she was and it was her husband harry which is just such a cool dynamic but it doesn't feel like a 
scary book. The first part was actually spooky, and then it just like took a left turn and it just went to like I don't even know how to explain this, but it was just not a scary book. It didn't feel scary. There was just it felt like a day of the life kind of book where this you're following a character with special needs and you're learning so much about her, her growth, and everything as a character to the point where you're just like, well, all right, cool. I really like this character. To how it ends, I'm like, well, I just I don't know how I feel about this anymore. And I was kind of disappointed because at first I was really liking it. But this month of October has been just kind of disappointing for just books in general for these spooky books. And the books I read before October are, were actually spooky. So I just was expecting this to be the last one to actually scare me. And it wasn't that scary. So I was just kind of disappointed with these books in general. Now, this book, I gave it a four out of five stars. I think it was still really good. It was very well written. I will warn you guys, there is elements of when characters in these books when they think to themselves you don't know that they're actually like thinking to themselves because the author doesn't like change it to look like oh they're thinking to themselves it's just like in the paragraph so it kind of threw me off at first and i realized oh okay they're actually inner monologues and that's why i was just wanted to let everyone know with this book though i gave it four out of five there's just some elements i'm just like what happened i feel like this book was going i i, I get the terrors i understand some of the connection maybe i'm just dumb and couldn't understand like all the like the actual connections of this but i just wasn't the biggest fan of this book and i can't say anything else about it i just wasn't that big of a fan if you guys made it to the end of the video i do appreciate it make sure you guys let me know down below what you guys thought about when darkness loves us did you guys read this book or did you guys not or if you have please let me know down below what you guys thought about this book i would love to know of course because well i like to talk about books of course and of course make sure you guys stay safe stay humble and tell someone you love them i'll see you guys in the next video stay weird